in the development and formulation of lubricants, which is a topic that most people don't consider very important. Uh, a lot of times people will spend a lot of effort and a lot of money choosing the proper truck or hardware for a specific application, but at the same time won't give a second thought to the type of lubricant that they put into that truck. Now, in order to emphasize the importance of lubrication on an engine application, first you have to have a good understanding and a good basis for that lubricant. Most lubricants, whether people are aware or not, are made using base oils. You can also have a synthetic class of lubricants, but the bulk of the industry, especially for multi-weight oils, use what we call a Group 2 base oil. Uh, what we have sitting right here is one of these Group 2 base oils, and you will notice that for this particular sample, it is completely clear. Now most people, when changing oil, find that their oil samples are generally yellow or very black, and that's what they would take as an indication that there's a problem with the system or that the oil definitely needs to be changed. In the development of a lot of the commercial oil products out there, there are, however, limitations to what the oil can do, or the differences between Group 2 base oils and synthetics are what we commonly refer to as viscosity. Viscosity is a characteristic of flow. Common examples of uh, viscosity or viscous samples that you might encounter every day would be honey. Honey is something that is a very viscous sample and does not flow well versus a glass of water, which we all are well aware, flows very well. In engine applications, you need a certain level of viscosity to prevent wear and protect the engine components. As a result, Group 2 base oils are commonly used because they provide a minimal level of protection for those engine components. However, that in its own right can be a problem. That for performance applications or for heavy duty applications, limitations of the base oil that are used restrict what can finally be done in terms of performance. What we offer at Marin International is a series of products that perform beyond what the base oils or the synthetics do. So in a typical engine application, one of the biggest problems that you have to control is the viscosity of the oil. As the oil heats up, you have a breakdown of viscosity. And naturally, if the viscosity gets too low, you can no longer protect the engine components. In our power-up line of products, we have three categories that we make sure we formulate against to protect the engine oil. The first are viscosity improvers and stability enhancements. For our viscosity improvers, we add additives that maintain the level and performance of the viscosity as set out in the initial grade of oil. This preserves the, the stability of the oil in high temperature situations and also ensures that there is adequate uh, lubrication between the surfaces. In addition, our particular additive also acts as a pore point depressant. So in extremely cold situations, viscosity is significantly enhanced or the, the flow rate is decreased. Everybody is encountered on very cold winter days. Starting up the engine is very difficult. In automobile applications, initial startup is probably the hardest time for an engine due to inadequate lubrication. Therefore, if you have a pore point depressant, it ensures that the viscosity is once again maintained at low temperatures in addition to the high, and that the viscosity will protect the actual engine components. So the combination of a viscosity improver and pore point covers both high and low temperatures, which your foundation for your base oil does not. From there, the next biggest problem that a motor oil will face is oxidation. And there's three major classifications for oxidation. The first is the direct oxidation of oil. Now, when we refer to oxidation of an oil, this is commonly observed in, in the real world as varnish or sludge or buildup in the actual oil. If you've encountered this when changing an oil, that means the oil is degraded to a sufficient point that it can no longer protect the engine components. What most people don't realize is that the molecules, basically the composition of what makes an oil, never wears out. That if you can protect what you start with, you can use it for an extended period of time. So in order to control the damaging effects of oxidation, we have three specific additives. The first additive acts as an antioxidant for the oil itself. It prevents the direct oxidation of the oil, thus preventing the sludge and varnish formation. In addition to normal operation of an engine, you will encounter some minimal wear, which produces metal particles in the oil. These metal particles act as 
a uh, advanced method for oxidizing the oil. So we have an additive that will basically take these metal particles out of the solution and prevents them from oxidizing the oil. Third, we have an additive that prevents acid buildup in the oil. Uh, in many applications, especially, especially newer diesel motors, there's an increased amount of exhaust gas recirculation happening to the engine. These are results of increased environmental regulation requirements. And the result of increasing the exhaust gas coming back into the engine is an increase in acid byproduct formation. Therefore, once again, your standard motor, multi-grade motor oil does not protect for acid buildup. So by the addition of an acid byproduct scavenger, a oxidation inhibitor, and a metal sequesterer, we can control all aspects of oxidation of the oil, preserving its lifetime. The final aspect that you need to make sure for motor oil is protection. And for our power blinded products, we focus on extreme protection. What I mean by extreme is we wanted to formulate an oil that wasn't just slightly better in terms of extreme performance than a standard synthetic or multi-grade base oil. We wanted to improve to the maximum performance that we could achieve. We do this by adding three unique extreme performance additives. The reason we add three is to cover different temperature ranges. So under lower temperature or lighter conditions or lower loads, we can add uh, one additive that will protect, lower the friction, and reduce the wear. As conditions become more and more extreme, we basically move to our second and third extreme pressure additive. Essentially, these three additives will cover extreme pressures anywhere from 200 degrees Celsius all the way up to 1,000 degrees Celsius, far beyond what the engine can actually reach in terms of an operating temperature. Therefore, we have a complete line of additives that when added to an engine oil, will protect it far beyond what a base oil or synthetic oil can do alone. <laughs>